Hi YouTube, I hope you're having a happy Monday and a great start to your week. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can establish an internet connection over Bluetooth to a humble pocket PC Windows Mobile PDA from around 2003-2004. I'll also be doing this with a flip phone and Palm devices, but to start I'll use my HP iPack HX 2410, which runs Windows Mobile. There's many directions you can follow. The one I'm using is from Abdusi Siarif that you're looking at on the screen of my Linux tablet here. Share internet connection via Bluetooth on Ubuntu. And essentially what you do is go into Bluetooth Manager and establish a local service that supports both personal area network under Bluetooth and dial-up networking. We'll see this in a second in Blue Man or the Bluetooth Manager. It's very, very easy. And keep in mind, you have to pair your PDA with your laptop in order for this to work. Okay, so with that said, let's go over here to the Blue Man window I have on my other monitor that shows devices that the Bluetooth adapter in my tablet PC has detected. One is the Pocket PC, that's the iPad, and then in another video I'll be using my Samsung Rugby flip phone. Okay, so that, that's all good. This means it's paired up here. That means it's trusted. Keep in mind, I have to run this as root, as a super user, in order to pair the PDA. I've already paired it, you know, with my four-digit passcode. I don't want this, you know, connect to, but what I do want is view local services. Now, let's remember that window I showed you earlier in the video. The service I'm operating is Network Access Point, DNS, Mask, provides the DHCP server, and this static IP address. The personal area network and dial-up networking are both done through Network Manager. Apparently that default is oh, all right. Okay, and I had clicked Apply and saved it. Okay, now let's turn to the Pocket PC end. I'm going to zoom in a bit so this is readable. Okay. Let's get that pocket PC in view. And let me pull the stylus out. Okay, so it's asleep right now. I flipped up the screen cover. And what I'm going to do is go to Start, Settings, Connections, Bluetooth. Maybe I can zoom in a little further. Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on. Take a second. One thing great about this is it uses about 10 times less power than Wi-Fi, so you should get much better battery life. Even after using this for about an hour, my iPad, which keep in mind it's very old, I don't have a replacement battery for it, said it had still 15 hours left on the charge. I'll go to services, wait, Bluetooth manager to set connections. I have one existing one. I can go new here to make a new connection. Uh, what do I want? Connect to network. Like that. Discover the service. Great. Space. Too. So discover that service running successfully. I couldn't get to discover a serial port profile, but who knows why that is. And I'll click finish. Okay, and it's established somehow showing both are up. But anyway, so that's just for the purpose of the video to show you how to create that internet connection Shortcut in the Bluetooth manager. Okay. 
Now I'm going to go start Internet Explorer and then sdf.org and we should see that we have an internet connection. This might take a second, so bear with me. Uh, this is a Bluetooth 1.2 device, so the fastest speed you get is, I think, 1, one megabits. And sure enough, there we go, SDF Public Access Unix. You can see I can browse the web over Bluetooth. What else could I do? Well, technically, I can, you know, also log in to other systems via SSH or Telnet. Oops, wrong thing. File Explorer, SD card, Pocket Putty. Let's try the level 29 BBS. BBS. I actually posted a message over this Bluetooth connection earlier to the level 29 BBS. Look at that. The Telnet connection straight to the level 29 BBS of RetroBattleStations.com. This is probably also good for IRC. I wouldn't recommend it for web browsing, though. The modern web seems to be too fast for this. It's also secure HTTPS oftentimes, and the Pocket Internet Explorer here doesn't seem to handle that all that well. And by that, I mean at all. I can see if I can get another browser, maybe try Opera in a future video. But anyway, that's pretty much all there is to it. Super fast, super easy, works great. Think of it as a wireless serial connection as opposed to standard wireless networking, high-speed wireless networking that you get with Wi-Fi. It uses a lot less battery power and you can do, you still do so much good stuff. Let's finally take a look at the settings. Uh, Bluetooth. Oh. oh, my cat wants to come in. Your devices. Yeah. Status. Just right, and we can see how much is transmitted and received. Do you like that, Mangle? Do you like the iPad? Yeah, so a bit strong here. I'm pretty close. The range, I guess, is about 10 meters or so. About 30 feet you get. So not quite the great distance that we have with Wi-Fi, but still pretty good. Anyway, so that's a great way to get some of your old phones and PDAs on the Internet, as my cat agrees. I hope this is helpful. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Leave your thoughts, suggestions, and questions, please. And happy Monday.